क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी वन मोर प्रॉब्लम विच इज बेस्ड ऑन एरिया अंडर द कर्व लेट एस स्टार्ट विथ प्रॉब्लम नंबर फाइव Prove that the area of the circle x square plus y square is equal to a square is equal to pi a square units. Prove that the area of the circle x square plus y square is equal to a square is equal to pi a square square units. As you can see, this is the equation of circle which is in standard form. We have different types of equation of circle. One is standard form, one is general form, one is also called as center radius form, and the last one is called as diameter form. Here, the given equation is in standard form, which can be compared with x square plus y square is equal to r square. Now, the things that we should understand about the standard equation is that whenever we have x square plus y square is equal to r square, the center of that circle will lie at the origin, and from the right hand side we can find the value of radius. As you can see, the equation of circle is x square plus y square is equal to a square. So on the right hand side, we have a square. So the value of radius will be a. Just take the square root of the right hand side. After that, we will draw the circle. Now, if I compare this equation with x square plus y square is equal to r square, the value of radius will be a units. Therefore, we know that this distance will be a. So the coordinates here will become a comma zero. This will give you zero comma a. This will be minus a comma zero, and this will be zero comma minus a. We know that area of circle is pi r square, but they have told you to prove that using definite integral. So, as you can see, there are four quadrant circles. So, out of that, we'll consider one of it which is present in the first quadrant. As we know, the area of all the four quarter circles will be same. So first, we will find the area of this quarter circle and then multiply it by four. As you can see, this area is formed under the curve with respect to x-axis or under the curve with respect to y-axis. So here you can use both the formulas: integral y dx or integral x dy. But since in the previous sums also we have used the formula integral y dx, we will go for integral y dx only. For that, we need to find the limits of x. Here for this region, you can see the minimum value of x will be zero and the maximum value of x will be a. So the limits of x will be from zero to a. The next step is to find the value of y from the given curve. The given curve is x square plus y square is equal to a square. By solving this curve, you need to find the value of y. So y square will give you a square minus x square, and taking square root, we have y is equal to under root. A square minus x square. So we have found out the value of y from the given curve. Now let us use the formula of integration to find the area under the curve. So area is equal to integral y dx, and we are going to multiply this by four, as we are considering only this area. After multiplying it by four, it will give you the area of circle, and the limits of x are zero to a. Value of y we have already found out. It is under root of a square minus x square dx. Now we know that integral of under root a square minus x square. It is x by two under root a square minus x square plus a square by two sine inverse x by a. Within limits zero to a. Now let us substitute upper limits and lower limits. After substituting lower limits and upper limits, in the first step you can see a square minus a square will give you zero. So this entire terms becomes zero. Here we have sine inverse of a upon a, that is one, and sine inverse of one we know it is pi by two. In the second part, zero by two will give you zero, and this entire part will become zero. Here again we have sine inverse of zero, which is zero, and therefore this part will also become zero. 
so we have 4 into a square pi upon 2 into 2 will give you 4 4 will be cancelled and we have pi a square left so as you can see they have asked you to prove that its area is pi a square square units i hope friends you have understood this problem thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ikida and subscribe to ikida